Hello everybody, welcome to the replay of... Ha ah, now I've got to remember this. It's Elliot versus Rambo. He's got some numbers after his name. Well, let's just call him Rambo. Um, Elliot is the underworld here in blue. Um, he's got a guard troll. Well, I can pause it, can't I? I can, let's, let's pause it. Oh my god, he's starting with a blitz. Okay. He's got a guard troll. He's stacked... Uh, Stacked sidestep and two heads on his gutter runner. He's got a mighty bow blitzer, a bit of a banger blitzer. He's got extra arms on his Skaven thrower. And he's got Underworld, so he's got a you know bit of swarming and what have you. And he's up against uh, Rambo, who has taken the Old World Alliance team. And he's gone for the same roster as I had with the two reserve halflings. Though he hasn't skilled them the same as I skilled them. I would have gone for six guard. And a sneaky get dirty player, but he has not gone for six guard, he's gone for a tackler and a mighty blower and another mighty blower. So you know, close to what I would have had, right? I think I think these five guards is correct. Um but I don't I can't actually don't kinda hate like the tackler on the human blitzer, because then you've got to move seven block tackler to hit like the you know, gut runners and stuff. So actually that's probably like that's probably decent right to have this tackler, that's arguably better, but I think I think guard on all of these fellas would be better. So this is uh, close to what I'd be running. Um, I mean, you know, close to. And the mighty blow gets an instant result for Elliot there. And he's going straight in for the destabilization. This is what I learned from... Uh... Oh, wow. He tried to jump over and roll the one. Probably shouldn't have rolled any dice on a blitz, right? The fact you've got no reroll, but I guess it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He was going. I guess he was going to go underneath it and catch it. Eh? I guess he was going to go underneath it and catch it. Which is not what I would have done. But who can say if it's good or bad? Seems silly to just not block with the tree. Like you've got a tree there, he's got mighty blow. Why aren't you blocking with him? Oh, you're just not activating him. So he does, he does activate. I don't like that. I think if you're activating him, you punch with him. I get that he kind of zones out the mighty blow a little bit, but it's a bit meh, isn't it? Okay. Uh, he probably should have gone down, right? And then this guy screams with a foul. I guess, yeah. F okay, fouling the gut is pretty strong. Fouling the gut is pretty strong. But he could have uh, could have protected the ball a bit better, right? He could have... Um... Yeah, yeah. Great play from manager one and manager two here so far. <laughs> I think manager two might be a little bit worse at blow ball than manager one. But... Um... It's very close, anything can happen. Don't say it's over. Also, manager one here goes for the 2D on the ball. Uses a reroll. Got five rerolls as Elliot, so. Glorious. No, I won't give Four. in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Some beaver. Two and a half beavers. Thank you very much. Umblum staying fantastic. Absolutely glorious. glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. And I will defend. I will defend. Jumpin' Jimmy, fantastic. <laughs> Jumpin' Jimmy, fantastic. That's a weird, uh, weird, uh, a weird accent. That is it. Always like that accent. Thank you very much, Savage. Staying fantastic for 20 glorious months. Oh, yeah. This is exactly what you don't want, by the way, for the Underworld here, uh, for the Old World Alliance. They've got this disruption here, and they've got four players. They've got four of their own backs, and now they're grossly outnumbered here. And they've got Snotlings ready to come in and make everything harder. Obviously, you want to blitz the gutter and foul him, but then you've got to deal with the ball, so you're not getting to... Target the exposed gutter. If you target the exposed gutter, maybe you just lose. It might still be best to target the exposed gutter, honestly. Target the exposed gutter, get, you know, loads of players back, and then uh, and then foul the gutter, and, you know, that's it. That might be your best way to win. 
I know the temptation is to like blitz people and recover the ball, but honestly, I wonder if the best player, the best player is to just is to just hit with a tree. He doesn't want to hit. I don't know why he doesn't want to hit with the tree. You got move. You've got string six, and you're moving around with him. So you know, like he's blitzing here and stuff, and maybe he's going to pick up the ball with him. He's keeping him. No, no, yeah, yeah. Moving back first, right? Just moving back first, if that was your plan. Um, I do wonder if you know the player would have been just to have um, just to have hit <laughs> hit this guy and had a bunch of players back, honestly. Because the gutter is, is pretty much everything, isn't it? It's a very annoying player. This is a decent uh, decent pitch, isn't it? The elf pitch there. Not terrible. Oh, he just gets the 1D. I mean, this is the problem, right? Like, he got the ball and he consolidated a little bit. But, uh, oh wow, he got a very lucky little catch. He could have lost the game right there. And again, because he didn't hit the gutter as well. Like, you know, like, the thing, the gutter was going to be the recovery, wasn't it? So, I feel like maybe just nail the gutter because now it's going to be hard to hit him again. With these snots in the way. And you can just roll all of the dice because he's got five rerolls. Oh, really nice. Really nice, isn't it? But just being able to roll all the dice every turn. I didn't really roll all of the dice every turn with four rerolls. Maybe I should have done. Yeah, even though they don't stop tackle zones, that's still like a three plus, three plus to run through and then hit the uh, gutter. So it's it's enough, isn't it? Uh, annoying snotlings. He's not just going to hit with them, is he? That seems crazy. No. Don't hey, 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 how am I talking? Hello. Hello, Steve. <laughs> oh, 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 my God, look at this. Elliot just rolls some dice, gets in. Greeds it and into dub skulls. Amazing. I mean, greeds you know, he'd gone for the power, obviously. Yeah, yeah, didn't have. I don't know if he could have done some safe moves like stand ups or if they were all stunned. I mean, I guess we can go back. Can't let look, we can just go back. So, he did have two players he could have stood up. Probably should have done right. Probably should have just got this guy in and stood this guy up. I get that he wants to react with, like, at least the gutter. But, um, you know, if you've got this guy free to react, you can probably stand him up and, and get him down. And there's also a guy behind the troll. So maybe he could have, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Right, maybe he could have gone to there and he could have gone there or something. I don't know. Minor, a minor nitpick, isn't it? A minor nitpick. It's not really, it's not a real power. <laughs> His whole team can't knock over a snotling. It's pretty good having dwarves, isn't it? On, uh, in retrospect, <laughs> the dwarf, <laughs> the dwarf build is looking rather good. Maybe not great versus Underworld, but certainly better than everything else that doesn't have any tackle. Uh, okay, so he's just sandwiching. That seems, I mean, pretty terrible if you ask me. Absolutely terrible. Like, he literally could have just gone one over and had him there, and then he's in a cage. He's just not in a cage, it's just like a 2 plus and then a 3 plus to 2 tee the ball. Flip me. Flip me. Well now it's not even a 2 plus, it's a... Wait, he's blitzed with a troll. 
Surprised you didn't just hit the ball. One, two, three, four, G F I you can just hit the ball. That's weird. Not what I would have done. I guess maybe it's because he's got the stun gutter. Didn't stand over. Oh, he's just lying down, isn't he? Tell you, he's just lying down for the rest of the half. Okay. So he's he's given up on the uh, on the half. He's gonna lie down. Take his hits. And then fight him in the second half. Problem here is if he hits, he follows up into the troll, doesn't he? Luckily, he gets the both down. Very luckily. Maybe he should have made that 3D. Which he could have done. Obviously, sticks tackle on the gutter, but it isn't getting up. Don't worry about that, mate. Goes for the four plus activation. Gets the power. Does he run away? No, he keeps st just stands him on the draw. <laughs> Elliot just wants the thematic, the thematic fight. Oh my god, three D. And he's loner, so he just didn't even bother reroll. Didn't even bother rerolling. Didn't even bother the loner. That's pretty funny, though, isn't it? A triple score. And maybe he should have done because, uh, or like moved some other people first or whatever, because now all of a sudden he's got no, no support up there whatsoever. And it's turn seven. And the last thing you want to do is have to do a one in nine to score. Get to the power this time. And the removal. And he runs back a little bit, make it a bit safer. <laughs> yeah, he's in range of that without GFIs. It's a pretty good way of playing though, isn't it, Underworld, I guess, not playing Blood Bowl, just lie down, you know, try and try and disrupt the play before they get in a cage and protect it. And if you fail, just lie down. Wait for the one turn. He actually made a bad play there in my opinion. Should have kept off his uh this guy in case of the um officious ref, right? Could be an officious ref. Easy, easy one turn here for the uh, tight LOS. Oh, what the hell? God, it goes so fast, doesn't it? It goes so fast! So that was a both down. And then, it's still not pausing. <sighs> right. It's, uh, so it, it goes both down, then the really stupid from earlier comes up, then he uses a reroll, and they're both both downs, and he picked the both down, and he got KO'd. And then somebody else, oh, because it was a both down, um, he cast the other guy, he cast the guy he hit. <laughs> He has the guy he hit, which was a guard dwarf. I don't know why the guard dwarf was on the LOS, but he was, and he got cast. Amazing. Amazing. So pretty good result from Elliot, really, getting the cast, even though he didn't get the touchdown. Uh, hello, Sata. You've been beaten. Uh, Big Chichi's on 35. I don't know... I don't know how big Chichi's on 35, but there you go. <laughs> That's quite the, uh, it's quite the achievement, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 
cheering fans. Don't you know what happened there? Oh, he's, he's not, so he tried to catch it with a snotling. Don't miss the stream. It's surprising though, because obviously I do the I do the odd I do the odd twelve minutes concede stream. <laughs> yeah, fun fact. If only you could cap streaks at twenty nine, that'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? Just people on twenty nine streaks. <laughs> So he's done his all uh, his all play that he likes to do, which is leave the big guy up there. It's generally better with a tree man, right? Because the tree man has got stand firm and is armor eleven plus and his strength six, and he's just been instantly KO'd. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> So yeah, not a great start for Eliod. So if if Manager Two can stop this uh, Daka, he can just win in normal time, can't he? Doesn't have to, you know, he doesn't have to press too hard and turn it over. Don't say it's over. Don't activate your tree. Just stay at midfield here. I don't hate that at all. Keep his move seven tackler back as, uh, as you know, something that can hit anybody. Really nice, really nice. I mean, I wouldn't have moved him from the LOS, but now he's moved him, just leave him there. But, um, it looks like he's doing something else, which is terrible. <laughs> which is absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, this is, this is not how to defend versus a Daka. Wow. I get why people do it because they think, you know, like if somebody goes one side, you, you, you can, you can react with the whole team. But the problem is you can't because they're past you. <laughs> That's the problem. They get past you. And you can't let them get past you easily. And this is just, you know, guaranteeing they get past you. Like the hard part of the Daka is getting past them. And he's just guaranteed Elliot getting past him. I mean, maybe he just runs in with everybody now. He's thrown a halfling at the floor. <laughs> He hasn't gone. He hasn't gone wide at all. He just hasn't gone wide at all. I'm kind of surprised at going this way, though. I mean, maybe he's scared of the frenzy surfing somebody, but like, it's easier to go this side where there's only one player to knock over instead of here, where like you've got to walk around him to hit to him. That's interesting. I wonder why he went that way instead of the other way. Man, I hate that you can't tell when the rerolls have happened. Like, the rerolls are so fast. Maybe it's because his snotlings were on that side that he thought they're so slow. He's got to, uh, he's got to go the snotling side. Lovely being able to uh, probably take out a tree man with a snotling, isn't it? doesn't blitz with his mighty blow, he brings in somebody else to blitz. Not what I would have done. And 
he doesn't hit the snotling. So his tree is wasted doing nothing to a snotling. And he hit that guy into another hit, which is completely invalidates the point of staying central, right, with your whole team. So now because now you can't react, you've just just made another hit. That guy's hitting him. He put in a sister hit him, what the hell? So he just hasn't reacted to the push at all. He didn't spread out and then he didn't react to the push. That's Well I hate to say it, Rambo, but that is not well played. But you know, I, I don't know who Rambo is. I don't know the name. Maybe he's just played a lot of Blood Bowl 3 ladder, you know, and hasn't seen a Daka before. <laughs> I don't know. But, um. Wait, this isn't a screen from Elliot. It's just an instant 2D on the ball. <laughs> Elliot learning to stream. Skip. He skipped the learning. <laughs> Elliot. Elliot skipped the learning to screen uh, class there at Blood Bowl Academy. <laughs> <laughs> Trap sack. Yeah. <laughs> and he dub scold. And he can't even try it real because he's loner. Yeah. I, okay. I guess the loners are a bit shit. All right. I'm. I'm. I'm watching this. Even though all the lines could have had six guard, looking at how like susceptible to the dice they are, it doesn't seem very good, does it? Also, he hasn't fouled once with a sneaky get dirty player. Which, if you're taking the claw palm of the format and not using it, that's not good, is it? Love the customizations though that Elliot has. Look at this; he's he's really pushed out the boat on uh, on these. Very, very warp stony uh, positionals. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. Well done, Elliot. Hello, Elliot, as well. In the chat, look. Coming to watch. Did it for me. Thank you very much. Coming to watch his uh, his victory or his failure. We, we, we can't know. No spoilers. But one of them. He's either won or he's lost this match. One of the two. Another removal there. He's actually taken quite a lot of removals at this stage, hasn't he? His old Elliot. Um, he's got a, got a few players. I mean, he still had enough to screen. <laughs> let's, let's make no mistake. He did have enough players to screen, but uh, simply chose not to in the previous turn. <laughs> Oh my god, he's going to throw another halfling. No, he's not! Why didn't he throw it? Why didn't he throw it? Oh, because Elliot, it was he, to realize what turn it was and Elliot was just going to score the next turn. Yeah. Okay. Well, we could have a one turn here. We could just have a one turn and a win for the Old World Alliance. You see, they do get the one turn with the halfling. So this could be this could be a nice little one turn here. It's not easy for them to hit the LOS. They, they maybe don't want the tree there, right? They want the tree, tree one off. So you can just hit this guy with tackle and then not risk not powering the other one. Pitch invasion, well, there you go. They get a power on that one. Oh, and it, it, the, the guy who's going to get the ball knocked. Wait, where has the ball gone? Where is, did they get a touchback? Where is the ball? Oh, it was his own play that was stunned. I couldn't tell because the snotling was so tiny. It's on the end zone. Oh, they just got wrecked then. Harsh. No dream halfling score. Not that I'm cheering against Elliot, of course. But, you know, everyone would like to see a halfling score, wouldn't they? 
three, four, five, so down to 11 players for the overtime. Um, and he's lost the toss. So this gets trickier. I, this is a lot trickier for Elliot now, right? He's got to turn him over to win. Or he's got to, you know, be scoring and score and then... Um, oh, well, he gets a blitz. That's really lucky. It's actually really tricky, isn't it, for Elliot? He's actually got to turn him over to win. <laughs> Elliot said he just laid down in one turn and it was an easy win. <laughs> That was a fucking lie. Oh my god, he, uh... <laughs> he, 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 he rolled dice on the blitz again! Oh my god, Elliot, when are you gonna learn? When are you gonna learn, buddy? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I mean, this is real danger, isn't it? This is real danger. Apparently, Manager 2 doesn't know what Sneaky Git does. Or dirty player does, and he just thinks he's a movement player to assist blocks. You have to foul with that player every turn, buddy. <laughs> you have to foul with him literally every turn. Unless it's going to lose you the game, you foul with that guy. Oh, but he re-rolled? What? Oh, he's he he brawled. He brawled. Okay, I didn't know they had brawler. Okay, I knew they were shit. I didn't know they had brawler. I don't like wasting the tackler on, like, a non-dodge player, right? Like, the tackler could have been hitting a dodger on the LOS, and then a mighty blow could have been hitting... It's it's not good, is it? Like, I'm not, I'm not disrespecting the coaches here, <laughs> okay? But you take the tackle to hit the dodge players, and the mighty blow to hit the not-dodge players. So you're just doing this all wrong if you're, if you're blitzing... If you're blitzing these, and this is for people watching at home, you know, and for people who've qualified for the top 56 people on ladder, um, your tackle guy, he hits the dodge players. Your mighty blow guy, he hits the guys with armor 7 and no defensive skills. And then this guy, he fouls. <laughs> this guy makes a foul. Um, now, obviously, look, it sometimes... You don't want to risk it without assists and stuff. But the thing is, Sneaky Git is so powerful that you do want to risk it without assists. You just want to foul every single turn that it doesn't cost you the game, you foul this guy. That's how it works. If it, you know, so like, it got a bit dodgy with the blitz in the first half, you know. Maybe he was right to bring it back and defend the ball and stuff. But um, in this situation where the ball's pretty safe, you just, you're fouling with him all the time and... Uh, yeah, Elliot. Elliot tried a leap with a with the with a gut runner. Just don't roll two pluses with your best player, uh, with no way to re-roll it, um, and then did it again and got KO'd. So there you go. And also try screening sometimes. No. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> There we go, we're going for a 1D on the ball, because, again, like, Rambo just didn't bother caging? Like, I, I don't know, he's done this eye cage a few times, as if, like, 1Ds aren't a bad thing. It's really weird. Really weird to just, like, not care about protecting the ball. Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> and I mean, the other use of the tackler, of course, is to keep him free so he can hit anybody that comes and harasses your ball. But if he'd had the tackler back here, instead of the halfling, he could have punched there, and then he could have hit this guy with three dice with tackle. You really don't need to blitz this guy either, right? It's a snotling. Just hit him with your guy with the ball. See if you power him first. And then you can blitz somebody else. Oh, man. Oh, man. He powers there. Gets a removal. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. 
I'm surprised he followed because following like blocked this guy, so he had to r run around a little bit further. Puts in the reroll, gets the pow, sideline for a maybe a scatter out. It's pretty impressive to have all of these people over here, and yet people here hitting your ball like it's 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 been it's been not the best play. No offense. Oh my God, Elliot's a pass. He fails the catch. And look, this tackler is up here because he blitzed this guy on turn one. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine there's some rule about if you spectate anybody else's match, you've got to be super respectful. But, you know, at the end of the day, if something's a bad play, it's a bad play, isn't it? You can't not call it a bad play. And uh, also, this guy is standing in Chunt's column. Um, he's in danger of getting surfed. And the loner works. And he does surf him on the GFI. He's just gonna yeah, dodge away, pick it up, hold it here. Nope. Nope, make a GFI. Make a GFI to stand in a more dangerous position. Okay, I mean I'm I'm done. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why he's using his last reroll to get the ball hit. On three dice with block mighty blow. I don't know. Answers on a postcard. Maybe, uh, maybe he felt the pressure. Playoff nerves. Oh, did Elliot double one? Oh, no, is it one in nine? I mean, he could have just stood here. He had plenty of time. He's movement eight. Just stand here and don't lose. <laughs> this is uh He's not picking the ball up. Is this a is this a throw or something? What's this? This is a throw. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I mean this is double GFI. Oh, yeah, I re I didn't watch it at all, Baron Bucky, because of course uh, I was just cons I was getting ready before my game. I was focusing up, and then I was playing my game, so I haven't seen any of this. But uh, <laughs> I'm kind of wishing I'd kept it that way. <laughs> No offence. Oh dear. I bet Art had a field there with this one here. Flip me. Yeah, he, he could have just had the ball here. And like, Regardless of everything else that's happened before, he picked up the ball and his catcher. He, he could have stayed where he was, and instead he, G, he used his last reroll to GFI to get three diced by Mighty Blow Block. Like, the only explanation is, like, playoff nerves, right? It's got to be. It's got to be. It's like... It's got to be. I don't know what he played on ladder or how many he played. Or, or you know, what his preferred race is or anything. But, um... This is not... This is not being good blood ball for this game. Like, you know, maybe... I don't know what the explanations are, but um, it's been... Like, Elliot didn't screen one turn. We've all, we've all, we've all done a Perivail screen before. And uh, also, Elliot rolled dice with his gut run blitzers, which is... You know, it doesn't usually fail, does it? But still, 
I think you probably shouldn't when you have one player that is 90% of how good your team is. You probably shouldn't be rolling things you can't re-roll on blitzers. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've done the gym cage exactly. You know, like, everyone makes mistakes. I think Elliot's basically made two mistakes rolling dice with his gutter that then got punished in the worst possible way. But because they can be, I think that's why they're mistakes, you know? Like, I just think don't endanger him on the blitz. Like, just don't. Um, whereas Manager 2 here has seemed to have done a lot of things. Yeah, the one turn attempt. I mean, I don't know. The dice were terrible, obviously. I don't know. I, don't, I actually got you a Kaz as well. It worked out brilliantly, but I don't know. I didn't really look at it because I just thought... No. Yeah, the setup. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, did, I didn't. I didn't even look at the setup. Spoilers: Elliot had told me that he won in eighty-one on the blitz. He didn't tell me that he got a that he got a Kaz though. <laughs> that, that, that did mitigate the one in eighty-one a little bit. That's not so bad, is it? The one in eighty. Oh, it's, I was so unlucky. I won in eighty-one, but did Kaz a guard player? So that was. You know, it's... <laughs> you would have taken the TD instead. Of course you would have done, yes. But it's a bit of a detail to miss out, isn't it? Is he not assisting this hit? Get your assist in and block him. Nope, just don't bother and score. I mean, this... this, this uh... This guy could have been over it. This halfling could have been here, right? And assisting and just make a 2 day. Elliot tagging out the tackler instantly. And then blutzing him into the mighty blow. <laughs> Hello, Tom Schnees. Yeah, a little bit late. Yeah. 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 Wait, this is turn 23. So. Oh. Just realised. That was. That was Manager's 2's turn 23. And he had the Blitzer in as his only guy in scoring range. So after. After, after GFing to expose his ball carrier. On like about turn 18 or something. Now on turn 23, rather than sending down scoring threats, he protects the ball at all costs. He does have the handoff throw option though, doesn't he? To get it to kicks. If he can power this snot then. Which he doesn't. He powers him. Gets the pow there. That's good, because he would have sidestepped to here, wouldn't he, for uh, for two tackle zones. Like a tackle zone on the hand. It gets the catch. And rolls a one. And a one on the land. Well. There you go. That is... It's good that it says Puglaw won the match. I should have called my team Find Me, shouldn't I? Um, <laughs> right, there you go. That was... Um, yeah, that was really funny. That was really funny. Throwing the halfling at the ball carrier was really funny. Yeah, yeah that was funny. Um, but yeah, so it was Rambo 2369. Oh, of course, he had 69 in the random assortment of numbers. Um, yeah, that was... That was something. Um, congratulations, Elliot. Commiserations, Rambo. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.